Hey everyone, Vincent Thiel from HGTV Tess here. In this video, I'm going to give you 10 advanced tips and tricks to help you get the best out of LG's WebOS 3.5 smart TV system using this 2017 LG OLED TV. Press the home button on the remote control. Scroll all the way right to an app called OLED Gallery. under which you can see Art Gallery, click on it and then your TV will slowly display this beautiful art as screensaver Press the home button on your remote control which will bring up the WebOS taskbar go all the way to the right Click on this edit button. Now you can move any of these icons or apps to anywhere. Let's say you want to move this to the front. Just drop it here. Or you can even delete apps by clicking upwards and then and delete this. And click on yes and it will delete that app. And then you can always reinstall it from the LG content store. Long press the home button on your remote control and it will bring up the most recent open apps and in my case here is the OLED gallery, Netflix, YouTube, Live TV and HDMI port. You can also assign a specific input or application to any numeric key on your remote control. This is a function called quick access by LG. So for example, I'm currently in HDMI 1 and if I long press the 1 button you can see that a prompt appears on screen asking me if I wanted to add HDMI 1 port to Quick Access 1. Let's say if I press yes and then if I let's say go to another app, let's say the YouTube app and if I long press the 1 button it will automatically switch back to HDMI 1 port. Now, you can also utilize this quick access function by long pressing the zero key, which will open up all nine buttons for you to add whatever function you want to assign. So you can add YouTube to free live TV. Now, any of the apps basically and any of the HDMI inputs to these nine buttons which will make it easy for you to go straight into an application or to a specific input with one click on your remote control. It is going to be a long press, but at least it's a direct access. When you are playing a video through the USB drive, click the scroll wheel button on your remote control, which will bring up the player control. Now, rather than using the fast forward or backwards button, to control, what you can do is to actually use your magic remote to drag this point here and basically it's just scrub forwards and backwards if necessary, which is a much more elegant way of skipping to the part that you want to watch. Now this is the default magic cursor on LG's WebOS system, which is shaped like a teardrop, but you can change it by opening up the user menu, go into accessibility, click on pointer options, and then you can change it to a beanbird, which is much cuter. But what I'm going to do is to actually change it back to the teardrop because I find that I'm too easily distracted by attractive looking birds. Click the scroll wheel and then the mouse cursor will appear. Go up to the top left corner, click on HDMI 1 or whatever label is there, and you will be able to see the aspect ratio, the resolution, and also whether it's in HDR, the color format, and the audio format. Currently, the 
TV is in standby, but if you press the dedicated Netflix or Amazon button on your remote control, it will actually switch on the television and take you straight into the Netflix or Amazon app. Press the home button on your remote control. Click on this music icon, which will fire up the music player on your LG television with webOS 3.5. Now you can click on any song which will play it but also there are various icons that allows you to either repeat it or to move the player elsewhere or hide the player. So I'm going to play this song which is the Life is Good song by LG and what we are going to do is to go into screen mode which will actually also display the lyrics allowing you to karaoke if necessary la 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 life is good life is good life is good let's face it this is just not extractor winning material is it so let's get out from here and if you just want to play the music in the background without turning on the TV you can just choose to turn the screen off which will still play the music in the background but it won't be displaying anything so you won't get any image retention or screen burn press the live zoom button on your remote control and you can zoom into a specific parts of the image and you can even use the scroll wheel to actually zoom in even further or go outwards and you can select any part of the picture and webOS also allows you to capture the screenshot which will eventually be added to the photo and video app in the internal storage of the television and another thing that i need to let you know is that if you long press the live zoom button what it will do is that it will be a very very unique and useful zooming in button that you can actually just use the magic remote to place over any part of the picture and as you can clearly see from the bottom left corner there are various instructions as to the different buttons that lets you do different things now note that this live zoom ability is only applicable to the hdmi ports live tv and miscellaneous video but not on vod app by vod we mean video on demand so you can use it on YouTube, Netflix as such. But this is a quite useful feature if you so desire to use it on your HDMI inputs and other sources. If you found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HDTV Test YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. I sat down by the ocean. Is that tears that I